G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and for today's video I'm going to take you through some of the new features in the SFMC Companion Alpha Release 2.2. So I've just released version 2.2 onto the Google Store. You can check for yourself to make sure that your extension is up to date by clicking on the extension and scrolling down to the bottom to make sure that you're on version 2.2. You can also check the release notes for yourself by right clicking on the Chrome extension and clicking on the options button. You then load the options screen and you can see here in our change notes, version 0.2.2, the too many features update. So let me take you through what's new in this release. So the first brand new feature is the ability to move a cloud page. Now I won't cover too much in this video because the features behind this are quite extensive and needs its own video. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. But for example, you can jump onto one of your cloud pages in the SMC Companion. You'll see here at the bottom a cloud page action where you can move your cloud page from its current collection into a new collection. One of the new features that I'm most excited about and have been planning to put in here for a long time is the ability to report on all the objects that you have inside your Marketing Cloud account. So I've started things off by adding some new reporting features. You'll find here in the top menu, we do have our Search and Launch in Marketing Cloud buttons as well as our Refresh token. There's also now the report function. If you click that function, you'll load up the report screen. Now, currently I have three reports built. I will build some more in the future. When you can see, you can jump into these reports and report on how many automations you have. And it's gonna load up every single automation you've got and show some basic features on those automations. Now, if you like what you see, you can also copy this information and paste it into Excel, or I've made things super easy. You click the download as a CSV and then it downloads it for you. So as you can see, the currently supported reports are the data extensions, automations, and your content and assets. Again, clicking into each of these reports gives you access to all the fields I'm currently supporting through this report. And I will try and add more in the future so you can download these and see them for yourself. The inspiration for this came from Gregory Gifford with an article he wrote a little while ago about making your own data extension inventory using WS Proxy inside Marketing Cloud. So thanks to Gregory. I hope you can enjoy this brand new feature. The next feature I'm excited to share is the new support for event definitions and journeys. You'll find those within the Chrome extension. Now I have removed the old interactions component and replaced them with the event definitions and journeys. So to use these, all you have to do is click into your Chrome extension and left click on the update button. You'll go through and update those definitions. Now what you'll find for the journeys, there are some customers who have a lot of journeys. So I've built a brand new function here to help you out to make sure your updates move faster. When you left click on the journeys component here, it's going to try and look for changes and only update your Chrome extension where changes are found across some journeys. As you can see, it's updating very quickly right now because there are no changes to be found. However, if you think there might be an error in one of your journeys and you want to do a forced update, you can now hold down the control key and left click, which will now do a forced update, re-downloading all of your journeys for you. So once you have your journeys downloaded, you can jump into your search and find them for yourself. I have a Welcome SQL journey. So you can type in Welcome SQL and sure enough, here is my journey for Welcome SQL. I can have a look and here is my journey here with all my activities. It also shows what the entry event is. And I can see here it's a data extension entry event. Well, we can check it out for ourselves. I can go into my SQL test here. Hopefully we find it's actually a data extension entry event and it is perfect. With all of my activities, my random splits and my weights, Check it out here. I do have some random splits and some weights. Perfect. The best part is I can still navigate through these objects myself. So I can jump into my entry source here. I can see for myself that it is a automation audience. It's in production and it is using this data extension, my Welcome Journey DE, and it's been used in this journey, my SQL journey test. Great. The cool new feature of this is that if you go back into your data extensions, it added a new lookup. So you can also find any event, uh, event definitions that the data extension has been used by. So straight away, I can see that my uh, Welcome Journey DE is being used by my SQL Journey Test, but also by a different journey, my Welcome API. So I can click onto that entry event and see that my Welcome API is used in my Welcome Journey. And here it is here, my other journey, my Welcome API Journey, and here are the events of that journey as well. So you can go back through and navigate through your objects just like before. I've just added the new features and support for the event definitions and for journeys. And finally, I've also added some bug fixes and some error reporting capabilities inside the Chrome extension as well to make things a bit easier to navigate and identify when things go wrong. So to start off with, I can jump into my search panel here. I can type in a search bar. Before I do, I want to press F12 on my keyboard to open up my Chrome Developer Toolkit. Now, when I do this, I want to make sure that the console tab is selected just here. I can see my console output. 
So I can jump into my search bar now and type in a search parameter, which is cam. It's gonna output all the results that are coming through on my page. So I can see for myself what's occurring on this page. Now luckily there's no red text, so there's no errors. I can jump into my next add item here. I can see also there are no errors occurring. Now if there was an error, I'd see in the red text here, I'd see where the error has taken place. Now if that does happen and you're not too sure how to fix it, what you can do is jump into my Chrome extension feedback form and let me know what's going wrong. So I'm gonna have a look for myself. To do this, all you have to do is jump up to the Chrome extension and right click, then choose the options button and you'll find the SMC companion feedback and bugs form just here. Give that form a click and let me know what's going wrong so I can try and fix it. Alternatively, jump onto one of the Slack channels. You'll find me on the How To SMC and also the SMC Developer Group Slack channels. Give me a little message there. Let me know what's going wrong and I'll try and fix it and put it into my next release. And thanks again for using the SMC Companion. I hope you're enjoying using it and it's saving you lots of time inside Marketing Cloud. If it is saving you time, then please let me know how it's saving you time. I'd like to try and spend more of my efforts making features and functions that'll help to support more of the community. You can reach out on Slack or don't forget to use that feedback form. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud updates.